going today, Mike? Ah, uh, well, you remember when you said that there were a couple of things about Big Green that bothered you? Yeah, that hurt your feelings, didn't I? You didn't hurt my feelings, but I wanted to address them. I wanted to address your concerns. So. How are you gonna do it? Well, one was power. Yeah. Right, AFR helped us solve that. The next was what? What was the other thing? The next was how every time I get into this car, I get a little piece of door panel under my fingernails. Yeah, it's kind of gross. It's super it is, gross. It is gross. Okay. Yours is even worse than mine. I know, I try not to touch it. And the door, like, it's interesting, like the armrest like on this thing is- I'm wearing it. I know, we well, don't have to put it on me. It's like automotive dandruff. Oh, that's just, ew, ew. Here's the thing, so we are now in Huntington Beach, California. That is the home of Classic Industries. Now, oh, they did our dash. They did our dash, that's right. And beautiful, nice, uncracked dash pad when we did the air conditioning. It is lovely. We don't have the little, like, fuzzy guy on top anymore. That's correct. But now it is time for them to do other things. Uh, namely, let's let's handle these door panels. Let's handle those. Let's handle some new flooring. Oh, do some dress-up stuff? Yeah, a little dress-up stuff. A little stuff that makes everybody go, ooh, that's nice. <laughs> and here we are. Beautiful, nice, nice, super nice building, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it's fancy. It's like all shiny. I mean, I guess that's what you'd expect from a company that does shiny dress-up parts. Yeah. I'm stoked. This will be a good one. Hi, I'm Alana. Hey, I'm Gabe. Gabe, Mike. Nice to meet you, Mike. You too, man. Thanks for having us here. Oh, we're excited to have you. Excited to see Big Green. Well, this is, so you guys are solving one of the major problems that we have with this thing and a problem that Alana has especially had, which is... Do, I don't do like how them? the door panels get under my fingernails because they're just like crumbling and it's really gross. Oh, I think we might have a solution for that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not just door panels. We, like, we have a mat in there that's kind of funky and, well, you can take a look inside and, and kind of decide. Before we get into that, Give us a little explanation of what Classic Industry is for the people watching. Classic Industry supplies American muscle car parts for both trucks and cars. We support Camaros, Firebirds, Novas, Impalas, trucks, Mopars, the Bel Airs, uh, Buick Regals, Mustangs, and soon Ford trucks. Very Almost nice. Everything. Just about, yeah, just about everything uh, produced in Detroit in the last 30 years. That's pretty good. All right, so we should probably have you take a look at the inside of Big Green before we before our eyes get too big. But let's see what you think should happen. Okay, let's have a look. Ta-da! What do you think? Well, I think this interior has uh, definitely seen better days. Yeah, that's, that's very true. So you think you can fix it up? Well, I think we have some things that'll definitely improve the uh, ride quality for you guys. Some new door panels, maybe floor covering, uh, weather stripping. I like it. All right, cool. Well, let's get to it. All right. All right, cool. The cool part about disassembling a 1981 Chevrolet Suburban is that it's old. What I mean by that is it's still a nuts and bolts vehicle. Thus, if you've got some basic hand tools, a ratchet set, a shop vac, and maybe even some air tools along with a compressor, you are simply good to go. Does it take time? Sure it does. But unlike the vehicles that are made today, anyone who has even the slightest bit of mechanical talent can pull the interior of a rig like this apart and then put it back together again. It's not rocket science, folks. It's just a bunch of nuts, screws, and bolts. So this is, this is really nice. I actually finally have the amount of legroom that I've always wanted. 
Maybe we should just put the rear seat back in and you can drive from there. I'll make it happen. Like we just can. a really long clutch extension. Mm -hmm. I can do it. That would work for me too. Yeah. Although right now, this is actually a pretty good seating position like up on the catalogs. <laughs> well, the Mopar catalog's in the right spot, so you're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you hadn't noticed, we have no interior in here anymore. No, we pulled it out and the nice part is this is a very, very solid truck. Uh, a lot of times when you pull out you know, carpeting and floor matting, you never know what you're gonna find under here and we've been really lucky with this so far. Yeah, we didn't have any surprises. Uh -huh. No no dead rats. Uh -uh, no, no license plates, no, no no anything. I mean, the nice part is now, um, you know, uh, Gabe and Craig, you know, we kind of assisted them when they pulled this thing apart and got all the interior out, but now it's time to put the new interior back in. It's gonna be so exciting. What are we putting in? Uh, we're doing brand new vinyl floor mat. We're doing new seat belts in the front. We're doing door panels. Uh, and then a couple of other little bits to make it just look that much better than it did before we pulled in here. While myself and Gabe went about the business of unboxing the new interior parts, Alana and Classic Industries' Craig Majorana went about the business of restoring the Suburban's crusty rear door panels. The process included pulling off and then refurbishing some of the old hardware and then removing the rear armrest so that all of the parts could then receive one hell of a good cleaning to remove 40 years of dirt and grime. Once that was done, they were sanded down with fine grit sandpaper to remove any imperfections, then prepped with a few coats of primer and color matched with a few coats of OER interior paint. covering most of the cabin with butyl sound deadening material. Okay. What this is going to do is going to help reduce the noise transmission mm -hmm. that you guys are certainly experiencing on the road, yes, and it's also are. going to help keep some of that heat out. Right. Um, on top of this, we're going to put down some uh, Hushmat Silencer Megabond on top of this for okay. that high frequency noise. Well, let's do it. All right. Let's get started. So as Gabe mentioned, lining the floor with butyl sound deadening material is a solid noise canceling solution. It also works great at keeping exhaust and surface heat from the road below out, while at the same time keeping that ice cold air from our new air conditioning system in. Then on top of that, we laid down some hush mat to even further insulate the cabin. Remember, a Suburban has an interior that's the size of a small New York City apartment. So anything you can do to improve that while at the same time making your HVAC system operate more efficiently is a welcome addition and a great upgrade. As for all those holes we were punching through the floor, Remember, we still had to put the interior back into the Suburban, so those holes were punched through to remind us where all our withdrawn bolts would go when it came time to reinstall the seats, the sill plates, and of course, the seat belts. After that, it was time to lay in our new buckskin colored floor mat. As this Suburban was always an outdoor adventure truck, we decided to stay with vinyl as opposed to carpet for the simple fact that vinyl works better in an outdoor environment. It's waterproof, a cinch to clean, is available in a ton of colors, and is also kid-friendly. Now FYI, there is a fair amount of measuring and cutting involved to getting the new flooring to fit properly. But if you take your time and exercise patience, your new floor will go in without a hitch and you will be thrilled with your results. After the flooring was installed and the bolt holes marked, it was time to button everything up and reinstall the seats, the moldings, the seat belts, and the sill plates. Before our new Classic Industries door panels were installed in the front and our refurbished ones in the rear, we decided it was a good time to lube up the interior window tracks, crank mechanisms, and door poles with a little lithium grease so as to smooth up their operations so they'd perform properly for another 40 years. Additional interior door padding was also added to help further insulate the cabin.
I feel like one of those fashion shows where like the person gets a makeover and then they're all fashionable at the end. Uh, we did a lot in Big Green and it looks so shiny and new in there. We did the rear door panels, mm -hmm. like we restored the old ones. You guys did this vinyl flooring and you changed the color from the original sort of crumbly black to this yeah. like bright tan and it looks really nice in there. It, it came out fantastic and I mean, I'll give all the credit to Gabe and Fireman Jeff for doing that and uh, the job <laughs> they did was, was pretty amazing. I supervised that. Yeah, and you did a great job at that. Thank you. And then we've got new door panels in the front that are like fuzzy. They're kind of upscale from mm -hmm. the stock ones, but we also have our stock ones and you gave us some paint, the same paint that we used to restore the ones in the rear. So if we decide that we want to keep it totally stock looking, we can do that and make Absolutely. it look all shiny and new. Well, I guess there's really only one thing left for you to do, Gabe, after providing us with all this wonderful stuff for Big Green, and that is to brand it with the classic industry sticker back here. Let's do it. Dude, Mike. man, thank you so much. The inside of this truck looks outstanding. It feels outstanding. I'm not gonna say I'm ready for another 3,500 miles, but I am ready for a very, very nice ride back to the hotel to get some good sleep. Looks great. The work was uh, well worth it. Thanks, man. All right, dude, see ya. See you later. If you like what you see, please hit that big red button below and subscribe and thank you for watching.